Alright, hello guys. Uh, we're playing Mario Bros. on the NES. I was feeling pretty classic today, so we're going to be playing as Don't Be Looking Mario in the sewers. And the point of the game is to knock, knock over Koopas, crabs, and like flies, and just get, get the points. Now, you also see that uh, they turn like a weird color. That's because this is the last one. See, get rid of him. Boom, he's done. If you're expecting like an action game, like there's a story and less characters, like Ninja Ninja Gaiden or uh, I, I don't know Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout or something like that, then this ain't it. This is this is one of those games like. Uh, like, where it's only based off of score. Think of games like... B Balloon Fight? Yeah. And, or, or like Wrecking Crew. Like, those games, uh... They're, they're not story-based. They're just, you know, for fun. That's, that's what it is. It's for fun. That's what I'm doing right now. You know, see? High score? That's the point of the game. And after you complete a stage, you, you get the opportunity to collect more coins, you know, to get part of your, uh, bonus. Collect them coins. Booyah. Five milliseconds left? Fuck yeah. Now, this was before Mario got famous, so, like, we gotta have mad respect for Mario during this time. Because, Mario, he sold out. Sorry, guys, it's the truth. You see what, you see the games he was in? He, Pick Cross, do you guys know about Mario Pick Cross on the Game Boy? Or how about, like, Mario Paint? He sold out, I'm telling you guys. Mickey Mouse did it too. They all did it. Now, he's not even a plumber anymore, who is he? What's his occupation? Besides just laying around and like, saving some, some princess. Oh, whoops. See, that always kind of bothered me, what, like, Mario... Mario, Mario, whatever his name is. Like, what, what was, his, his original occupation was that he was a plumber? And he stumbled into the, the mushroom land where he met the princess and all these weirdos. And and now he he just gave up his job. Like what would you classify Mario as? What would Mario have to say? If uh Oh you, oh come on. Like what would Mario have to say if he he just like met up with a bunch of his friends, right? And they're wondering, like, oh, what do you do? Oh, well, I protect the fucking, like, mythical princess. Like, nine to five every fucking day. Ain't that cool. I like how these pipes, uh, also, like, vomit out coins for me. See, very nice. Also, you see the crabs, right? The crabs get mad. Every single time you bounce on him. And I just died. Oh, but oh, so bad, the game over! This game was made in 83, holy shit. This game is old. But it's okay. You know, I don't think the B button does anything, no. The B button's just a, a free-to-use button. Just only use A. Like, does select do anything? No. Oh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of wasted buttons on this controller. Give me them coins. This is also a two-player game as well. You can play as Luigi. But... As of right now, I am lonely. And have no friends. But if you were... If, if, if anyone would want to play Mario Bros. with me... Uh, you can take the dog bone controller, because I, I don't like that controller, compared to the original. Sorry, but that's just, that's just how it's going to be. You can bring your own controller if you want, but 
you know, too bad for you. Also, I I only get to be Mario, so like, screw you if you want to be fucking Mario. It's my house. It's my rules. You know, don't you always hate that when like you go over to a friend's house and I I I'd probably question if they were your friend if they're always being an ass by saying like I I get to be first player or like I get to be like this character because it's my house. Bitch, it's not your house. Did you pay for the bills? Did you pay the electricity? Did you pay the oil? No. No. You just live here, like, rent free. Don't say it's your house. And you know what? I mean, if I want to play as Mario, let me fight for him. You know, Mario's such a menace that he's... Why is he harassing these, these animals? Some cruel... Cool man, Mario is. I didn't know this was part of the occupation and plumbing, you know, uh, busting down on crabs and turtles. Maybe, or maybe Mario just has a vendetta against animals. He's like some freak who just who just gets like some sort of amusement from. Uh, busting down these animals. But speaking of, uh, animals, uh, now we have flies or wasps or whatever these things are. And we're stomping on them and they're flying. You know, they're making us mad. Maybe they're mosquitoes. Uh, now there's a reason to hate them. Guys, I fucking hate mosquitoes. They're just annoying. They're small. They're fucking stupid. You know, I was just in my room. And I was just, like, doing nothing. And then this fly comes out of nowhere and just starts flying around like a dumbass. Like, sometimes I wonder if flies are retarded. Because they just... This fly was just walking... Uh, walking. It was, like, crawling around and... I, I, I got the fly swatter out. And I was trying to get rid of him. But he was still flying around, like, you probably think if something's, like, trying to whack at you, like, imagine a big foot just came out of the sky and it tried to, like, you know, stomp on you. You probably want to run away or, like, fly away, whatever animal you are. But no, he just kept flying around the room. Like, dude, leave me alone. I know you guys hate flies. I hate flies. We all hate flies. But you know what? They're important to our our world. I don't know what it is, but they're important in some part. So, yeah, you can you can use uh like uh wasp spray all you want. It's not gonna do anything because we need them bastards. Now we're in the icy level. The icy level is hard because you, you slip slide around. So that means you gotta plan out where you're going. So the coins look like chicken nuggets uh, on that screen. And they're making me hungry, you know, chicken nuggets. I haven't had McDonald's in a long time. Good reason. Because... Because... <laughs> Because I, I got made fun of for trying to get a Happy Meal. What's wrong with that? If I want a Happy Meal, don't make fun of me that I want one. I think they're really cool. Okay? Every single time I go to McDonald's and I want to get my Happy Meal with like a, a nice like McFlurry. The fucking cashier always makes fun of me. And they're saying, oh, would you want to fucking, like, you want to go at the playground and have some fun? No. Obviously, I'm joking. But, like, I can imagine someone did get bullied for wanting a Happy Meal. Ugh. Well. Guys. Have you ever went to a McDonald's and they've had, like, game cubes on display for, like, kids to play? I've never seen it, but, uh, I have seen photos of it existing, and I can only imagine how nasty 
grimy, sweaty those controllers were. And they're, they were probably all broken. Because, like, hey, I mean, no one's gonna replace that. I don't, I don't think anyone really cared. I mean, it was already a luxury enough that you got this GameCube controller in in a McDonald's of all places. You know, I, I went to the playground once. I, I went to the McDonald's playground once, and I, you know, I put my shoes in the cubby hole, and, you know, I went to go have fun, and then when I left, I left with some random kid's shoes, I was like, what the hell? I was wearing fucking sneakers, but then, <laughs> when I walked out, I was wearing sandals. Guys, what I'm trying to say is, don't go to McDonald's playgrounds, because... You just end up with some random kid's shoes. And that's no good. Anyways, that's Mario Bros. Hope you enjoy. Alright, see you next time.